Okay, so we are gathered here today for our weekly annual healing circle, weekly, not annual, <laughs> Friday healing circle at noon. And today, um, well, actually rather this week, in meditation this week, I heard the words activating your sacred heart. And I'm familiar with this and I've explored this, but I actually felt like there was something specific to like a sacred heart activation. And so actually that day I sat down and recorded a light language transmission um, to bring that energy through and then the quality of the recording um, didn't, didn't um, come through so well. So I'm, I'm not supposed to share it, but then I thought, okay, well, we need to bring it through today for today's healing circle. So I went into meditation again today, didn't really get a whole lot more information, but um, I sat down to do some work on the laptop today. And instead of doing the work I sat down to do, I started to write. And so I just want to share um, what I wrote. And then we'll talk a little bit about, you know, what the sacred heart is, also known as the higher heart. Um, there's a higher heart chakra. And then we're just going to go straight into the light language. Because um, I feel like we just need to bring that energy in. And then we can, you know, talk about it and stuff after. So um <clears throat> pardon me as i have my my paper here um so this just came through so we're activating and awakening our sacred hearts and i wrote your heart is a portal <laughs> to access and awaken your divinity or what's also can be referred to as christ consciousness <laughs> just push it back so it's Christ consciousness, known as Buddha consciousness, divine consciousness, super consciousness. It's our connection to all that is, and it's like our natural state of being. So <clears throat> we access our natural state of being through the higher heart. And I was sharing earlier that I feel like the higher heart is a portal and when we activate it and awaken it, then we can connect into our multidimensional higher self, Christ itself, whatever you want to call it, right? And so that's what I feel like we're starting to do. And I was re reflecting back when I got here today <clears throat> on the other healing circles that we've been doing. And last week was about the actual heart chakra. So I was almost wondering, like, if we were just kind of preparing opening that heart chakra and, and clearing that out, which I feel like it's still happening. Like we're still clearing out our, you know, physical human, not physical, but our human heart chakra where we've carried grief and, you know, separation and loss and abandonment and all those kind of things. So <clears throat> I don't know how it works and I don't pretend to know how it works, but I've just been kind of, for whatever reason, tapping into this heart and higher heart stuff. And I'm wondering if like, you know, can we really get to the higher heart if our heart chakra is like heavy or whatever? So we have to clear that maybe to get to that possibly. I don't know. So, <clears throat> so, oh, I wrote portal. So your heart, your heart is your portal. Your higher heart is your portal to access and awaken to your divinity or what's referred to often as Christ consciousness. It's what Jesus came here to do as he embodied the Christ, the Christ consciousness energy within his own heart and was the walking avatar of Christ consciousness. We are here to do what Jesus did on this planet to awaken the Christ consciousness through our sacred heart portal that connects us to all that is. And then I wrote, this isn't just like a one-stop process. Like we're here today to activate our sacred heart, but it's not like we're going to leave here today and be like, Oh, I'm all activated. You know, check Mark Fox. It's all done. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an evolution. So that's what I wrote. I keep ad living and I'm just reading. So it's an opening and evolving as we heighten and lighten our energies. So we're able to more easily access these higher aspects of ourselves that exist in a higher frequency than we 
we have you know come from right because we've been in a lot of density for so long and so we're clearing the density and we're raising our vibration and we're actually vibrating at a higher frequency <clears throat> once you've opened your sacred heart you begin to perceive the world through the eyes of unity and unconditional love your perceptions of yourself begin to shift as well as your ability to embody more light and therefore see yourself in the light the density of fear and worthiness shame and other low vibrational experiences begin to lighten as you're able to receive and hold more light in your body right and so you guys might have heard about like the crystalline body right so we're we're converting from carbon to crystalline in the physical physical structure of our bodies and that, you know that sounded good and that resonated with me but i'm like you know that's so far out there like how's that going to work well now we're starting to see like you, if we if the sun was shining today we could go outside and actually see like little glitter in our hands i see it a lot in my chest you can see it in your face i was in the uh, car the other day and the sun was shining like right on my chest and I was like doing my makeup in the mirror or something and I was like oh my gosh it was like all glitter and so that's the body beginning to be able to hold those higher frequency and start to morph into a more crystalline structure how crazy is that <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds so crazy um yeah that's what the planet and right and we have a crystalline grid within us too and i was getting that i don't know if i wrote about it so here i go ad libbing and here it is again this, this changes the biolog bi biological structure of our bodies including dna change and the grid changes <laughs> we're so cute your energetic structure will be aligned with your universal self not just your human self that you perceive as separate as it existed in the third dimensional timeline like or third dimensional frequency right we've we've come out of that third dimensional frequency and we're kind of in that space of transitioning the timeline you are aligning with is a frequency which is represented by dimensional frequency this is ascension simply put your energetic thinking up with the higher dimensional vibrational frequencies which is you right like because you exist in that higher dimensional higher vibration frequency so it's you and then we can hold we can be, begin to embody these and hold these in our body and then i go on to something about five pillars of truth which i'm not going to share today but i was like i don't know what that's all about i don't have all the information yet but maybe we'll share that later <laughs> So I just, you know, and I've read about this stuff, but this is kind of coming through organically. And so, you know, whatever we're here to do today, I don't know. Like I don't have a, um, any, any kind of agenda necessarily, except to just whatever, whatever energies need to come through and just letting ourselves get out of the mind, get out of the knowing. I mean, we have a little bit to chew on here, but just letting ourselves receive. And I don't know if there's going to be, if I'm going to be doing any like guided meditation or if we're just going to go straight into the light language. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So do whatever you want to do to be most comfortable. If, if you're sitting up preferable, but you feel free to lay down if you want to. Um, so I'm going to just tap in and we're going to, we're going to begin in silence and we're going to end in silence and know that even though we're silent, like the energy is still coming through. Now just begin to take some deep breaths and allow yourself to <clears throat> get into a place of receiving. And it can just be a simple statement of, I am willing to receive. I am willing to activate my sacred heart. I'm willing to heal and open my heart chakra. Well, we're just gonna hold a space in silence for just a moment or two or a minute or two.
So we're just in this space right now of it's like preparation. So we're, we're just clearing any interference. So you might just imagine kind of just being held in a beautiful cocoon of light. It's like a cleansing cocoon. And we're just gonna transmute any lower energy, any resistance, any blocks, anything protecting your heart. And I invite you to call in your higher selves, your divine self. I invite you to call in any guides or um, light beings that you feel support you. And this is your space of receiving. So there's nothing you need to do here. We're just allowing the energies to flow in effortlessly and easily to clear, release, transmute, whatever's in the way of connecting in to our higher heart, our sacred heart. If you've ever worked with uh, St. Germain, the violet flame, there's like this, this transmuting violet flame. You can imagine that clearing anything in the way. We're just going to take a few breaths to just purify and prepare our physical body, our energetic body, our mental and emotional bodies. Purifying, clearing, anything we might be hanging on to that's heavy or dense. I invite you to connect into our Mother Gaia, our beautiful planet that supports us in this experience as we're bringing more light into the planet, more light into our body in this beautiful exchange that we have with her. Connecting in. You might imagine a beautiful crystal cluster right at the center of Mother Earth and just taking your energy down to plug in there. And once that connection is established, just breathe in this beautiful wave of earth energy rising up like a fountain. Allow it to come into that heart space, into the chest. <clears throat> Bringing this beautiful nurturing and comforting sense to your physical heart. Allowing your physical heart to open, opening up that pathway to your higher heart, almost like a tunnel of light. And now we'll connect into your sacred heart. So you can imagine this any way you choose. It could be a beautiful sphere of light. It could be a rose. It could be pink or red or white. <clears throat> I want you to tap in and maybe perhaps something will appear to you. Perhaps you ask to perceive your sacred higher heart. Just allow yourself to make that connection and feel the relationship that you have. 
with this, you, this part of you. You might choose to place your hand or fingertips on this part of you or not. Right on that upper part of your chest. And so now we'll bring in the light language to just open, activate, connect to this part of you more deeply. Letting go of any thoughts about it, letting go of any expectations about it. This is just truly a space of you going beyond your mind going beyond your knowing about it. There's no true definition here. This is your place of your own divine essence, your true divine nature, the truth of who you are beyond your mind, beyond this body, outside of time, outside of space. It's all that is within you. Isono uyarasa o koroso arama. Isha are sekete e setare kioroso iamara sana. Isotoro ara saname e ke vere sotoro ki ara satara koara sani ia. Moro sotara kiara shanoro oro sakamare e sheki ana satare e shini ia. I koro sotaraki anasana moroso ia shana sanare kere se. So we're just connecting in and, and you might want to imagine this higher heart, however you're connecting to it visually, just to expand, moving up into your throat, into your head, and then down to the lower parts of your body. So we're allowing it to kind of clear our other chakras. Right now I feel like it's being um, on the throat, being <clears throat> worked on the throat. So as your third eye and crown, it's as if the sacred heart is now um, bringing that energy into your body, which clears the pathways, opening and balancing the chakras and the energy centers. So we're just allowing it to uh, become more embodied. Now feeling moving down to the heart chakra. And down into the solar plexus. It's like it's unlocking um, more of who you are, unlocking who you are, like who you truly are. And down into your sacral, you might imagine this energy now flowing, flowing into your abdomen, lower abdomen, into your pelvic area.
I mara satara ko ara satara i ke e shara asanoro o koro satari yana. And just imagining it flowing through all of your body now, your back, your legs, down to your feet, beyond your body. Omo sotoro e satara ki i ki sotoro a shanare sanara o ko oro sotari. I mara satari yana ara sa i it's like uh, connecting your heart to your head as well. So we're, um, you know, changing how we perceive things, how we think about things, where we can come from, you know, come from the space of our heart, our higher heart. So we're letting go of, a, of the ego aspects of control or the ego aspects of fear. Ara sonore ketere shana oro sa ama akashane ishana ra sakatara oko oro so ishana mo oro satar aya ya ya shakatare shana ma asatare anna ra satare ya anna ra satro ama ra shakati isi ketere sho. And just feels like we're clearing even more from the headspace. Again, just kind of letting go of the thinking, letting go of the control or trying or defining, just allowing yourselves to be in a space of pure existence, pure being. And I feel this energy kind of running up and down the spine now. And I just imagine like a beautiful sunlight just kind of going up and down your spine, kind of, um, getting into the, you know, the vertebrae, the fascia, like letting this kind of, letting this light seep into all the spaces. Connecting all the way into your head, just allowing this light to kind of travel from the base of your spine up into your head now. It's like we're, we're just opening um, like a column of light from the top of your head down to the base of your spine, allowing it to just um, clear. Sotoroki Shanoro sotoro ki anana sotoro ama sotoro anama shatare ketere satari. Just take some nice deep breaths. We're just going to kind of let this settle in. O sonori ke shiki amara asanari ke shiki arasa. Back into the heart space. Take some breaths into that heart space, into the higher heart. いそのらさたれけしゃのろそとりきあなのろそとろこあなださたらしゃなれさていしゃなりまあなそとろもおれさたらしゃのおらさたりいかなさたらしゃのろこそろそとりきあもおれえならさたらけえけてらさにい
o son oraya sanımı eşek ederi satara ki işaz rosana arama orosa dar eşeki mo ore satara yana eşek edi ana ara satara rosada vaşana miki yana yana satara yaşana inara satara ku uroso bro yana aşana eşeki It just feels like we're receiving while also releasing. So just allow your body, if anything needs to be released, just imagine the bottoms of your feet opening up and just allowing Mother Earth to just receive that from you. Anything that you're carrying on to, any burdens, any judgments of self, any unforgiveness, any emotions that you've been carrying with you that are no longer part of the light that you are now, just allow it to release through your hands, through your feet, through your body. Allow the earth to magnetically draw it from you. And as you let that go, more and more light comes in. I'm going to bring even more light in now. I sanare sotoria sano oro so ki, shamo e sanare ke shoro sotori ki, anasamo o asana saka shere saka re shake be easy kiriara. Mo ore sanaro o kuire she, o moro sotoro ya shani ikia, o sonoria sanara asha, o shoro satare ke shemme ne sotori. Shana Mara Satariana, Or Sate Shata Kiara Sotano Ori Oro Soto Arasha. And just imagine now, like you and your energy, like just floating with the universe. Imagine that universe inside of you, outside of you, like there's no difference between you and the universe. You are the universe and you're just flowing, expanding with all that you are. Isama are satare shatari ki anaro sotaroi idara satara koara shane ishiki ni isano sonare satare ke ewere shotaro ki imara satare shana a koara satare ki ana sonare yashiki moro sanami iki ara satare weshe emero sotaro ki ana sonaro akama are same ishiki ara sati yashano ikwara shana oro sakame eshani eseku oro ki anama Mo oro sotara kene e shekiti i siri. O moro sa ama a kana sa. I mo osono a shana i ki si a ra ketaro i a ra shani i mi i si kiti i a sa. Shone e seke we shako oro so. I ma a ra sata i a re shake me e re ketere shani i si a na a ro so. More can a satarea shaki ishiki mo ore satarea ne e sheketere sotaria shana me e sheki sonarwa shana ma a sanare ke sheke shuku ore satarea ne. This is just kind of perceiving your body um, to receive this, integrate this, and you know, whatever changes that are needed to adjust in your body is just allowing those to happen easily, effortlessly, changes in the DNA, changes in the grid, in the, in the structure, the crystal in the structure, whatever all that is, just allowing your body to just easily and effortlessly receive more of this light and allowing the body to accommodate for this, um, these changes. Asanare sakotoria na sonoria mesheke. Isatare sonorakia shanamo ori shiki se e siana. 
asan rasana na makwara sha ere ku uyera shiki si ira sa and this is also like bringing in all these aspects of you that you've been throughout all time throughout space throughout the universe outside of time and space like everything you've ever been allowing that energy to come into your body now i sono iki siara sono roku orso de meshiki sianara satoru kiara sa Shonara sanama e shiki isianara e sotoro ki. And just remembering your connection with everything. Everything is you. Ama sonoro ya ka nesa oe shere sotoro ki ishi ama a sono e kiana e seke shiki iasa. Sonara sanano wa shanamo ori shiki setara sotoro ki ama. Few breaths. This feels like we're clearing a little bit more from the heart space. Yes, sonare yamasha ko ora sata ayashiki sanare sanaro ko ora sata me eshi ni ishiki sana sore sanamare shatari ki ana sataro ashana. Isanare shanroku ora satare yo ashani shamoku iarasa yashani. So I think we're just going to be in silence for a bit more and just kind of allowing this to settle in as it continues to flow in. We're just going to continue to kind of allow this energy in. We're not complete yet, but I think we can just hold that space of receiving. 